today's video, I'm going to be making a enhanced whiskey sour. It's almost identical to a regular whiskey sour, except I'm going to make this drink as sour as possible by chucking a bunch of warheads in it. Because for some reason, I woke up and decided I was angry at myself today for not uploading videos more frequently. For those of you that aren't familiar with warheads, they're a very sour candy. They actually have a warning on the back saying don't eat too many of these, otherwise you'll have issues. And I can personally say I've seen someone eat so many of these that they've thrown out. So I'm excited to see how this cocktail turns out. If you're following along at home and just want a regular whiskey sour, you can do the exact same stuff, but just uh, just don't use, don't use these. You can skip that part. The whiskey sour is an excellent cocktail when made correctly because it balances the booziness, the sweetness, and the sour. But when it's made wrong, it can kind of be a bit of a mess. For example, it shouldn't taste like hard lemonade. Nothing against Mike's Hard, it's just, if you can legally buy alcohol, you're probably too old for hard lemonade. The first ingredient that you're gonna use is whiskey. I'm personally using bourbon, specifically the Wild Turkey 101. You don't specifically have to use this brand. I personally just really like it because it has a bird on it. And that's it. It tastes pretty good too. The second ingredient is lemon juice. I just want to stress here that the fresher you can get your lemons, the better. Just promise me you won't use any of that real lemon squeeze bottle crap because I'm not sure if that's actually for human consumption. I think it's just citric acid in a plastic container. Well, it's hard to keep alive in the winter. I like to grow my own lemons indoors for maximum freshness. <sighs> Ooh, we got a couple of, we got a couple of fresh ones here. <sighs> the second last ingredient is simple syrup, which is just one part sugar to one part water. And the final ingredient is egg. I'm just gonna use a chicken egg here, but feel free to use your favorite variety of egg. And let me know how it goes in the comments. Let's get started making this drink. First, you're gonna add an ounce and a half of bourbon. The next ingredient is gonna be an ounce and a half of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Yo, you guys ever play Fruit Ninja? Look at that, it worked. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Lastly, you add your egg white. Now, the important part here is to crack it not over your main drink thing. You wanna do it off to the side because if you get some yolk in here, it doesn't matter. If you get your yolk in here, you now have an omelet. Look at that, perfectly separated. The next step is to take your shaker and shake it without any ice for about 60 seconds. Normally the next step here would be to do another shake with ice to chill the drink and then you strain into a glass with an ice cube in it. However, I'm gonna not do that just yet because I need to figure out first how to get the sour off of these things. And all the sour should be on the outside of it, in like a weird dust form. Now I'm gonna take these sour candies, throw them in here, and give it a shake with it. The sourness is actually on the outside of the candy, so I hope that what happens is it actually just dissolves in here, all the sourness off the surface of it, without breaking up the candy too much and giving it too much of the candy flavor. But first, I'm gonna go get some ice. Oh yeah, these are good ones. So one for you, one for you. Take the sour candies. Take your little piggy strainer and go 
ahead and strain the cocktail into your glass. So it smells like lemons, which is good. It smells like bourbon, which is good. But it also just kind of smells like citric acid, which is not good. So I'm gonna give this thing a taste and let you know how it goes. That's a thing. Wow, huh. So it starts off normal. <laughs> and then it does something to your mouth, which can only be described as this, almost like a stinging, burning sensation. It's honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. A few moments later. This cocktail is officially a one out of five. Initially, I would say it's like a three and a half out of five, but after a few more sips, it sucks ass. Don't recommend. 